Okay, today I'll talk about pressure and pressure measurement. Now, what is pressure? So, pressure is inward force per applied area. So, pressure is inward force per applied area. Now, here the blue color is a box you can consider or a object. So, in that object, area is A and force is acting to that object. So here F in is the force, inward force acting to the object. Now pressure is inward force per applied area. So we can write F in by area. Now what is the unit of the pressure? So force unit is Newton and area unit is meter square. So unit of pressure is Newton per meter square. We can write in this form like base unit like Newton means what kg meter per second square and then unit of area is meter square. So meter and meter will cancel out. So we will have kg by or per second square meter. So now what will be the dimension of the pressure kg meter second square meter square means meter and meter square will cancel out so meter so dimension for kg is m and meter meter dimension is length minus 1 because it is in denominator and second square so that is the dimension for time so t to the power minus 2 so dimension of pressure is m l minus 1 t minus 2 and what is the unit of pressure so that is newton per meter square or kg per second square meter or that also called pascal now pressure measurement now consider a tank in the tank maybe some fluid is there and tank base is b and width is a and height of the fluid is h now weight of the fluid acting on the base of the tank now how do you calculate weight of the fluid weight of the fluid means mass of the fluid into acceleration due to gravity now how do you calculate mass of the fluid volume multiplied with density of fluid multiplied with acceleration due to gravity now if you write how, how do you calculate volume so we, that breadth of the tank is b and width of the tank is a and height of the tank height of the water level means flu, not water fluid level is h so we can easily calculate volume volume is nothing but a into b that is the area of the uh, tank or base of the tank into height so that is volume of the tank and multiply it with rho so that is mass of the fluid and multiply it with acceleration due to gravity so that total is weight of the fluid now that weight is acting on the base of the tank so that we can write we already know pressure is nothing but force in by area force in is nothing but weight of the fluid so we can write a into b into h into rho into j so that is weight of the fluid or force acting on the base of the fluid base of the tank and what is the area of the tank area is that area is nothing but a into b now a a will be cancel out b and b will be cancel out so we'll have h rho g now pressure we can calculate base pressure is nothing but h rho and g pressure is equal to h rho g now pressure at the base of the tank we already got is p is nothing but h into rho into g so what is h h is the height of the liquid height of the fluid and then rho rho is liquid density and g is the acceleration due to gravity now here so pressure depend on height only height of the liquid not base area of the tank height is always taken from surface of the liquid so always uh, that height is taken from here means this is the zero coordinate and it will go down okay so high high it will be taken from surface of the liquid and it is increased and it increase 
downward direction it increased downward direction and obviously so liquid pressure is also increased downward direction now what is pressure at any at the base of the tank or any point so p is nothing but h rho g h is height of the liquid rho is liquid density and g acceleration due to gravity now consider air uh, you may think that air is empty uh, we can't see anything right it doesn't have anything right uh, it is not like that in modern science modern science so air contain lots of molecule like oxygen nitrogen hydrogen and many others and all these molecule collide with each other and each other as well as surrounding during collision they transfer kinetic energy with each other and surrounding and kinetic energy transfer during collision that means molecule exert pressure on its surrounding and we can measure this pressure right so pressure is actually coming from that molecular motion when molecule collide with each other and they transfer kinetic energy and because and that that means uh, that molecule exert pressure exert pressure its surrounding and that pressure we can measure so how do you measure that pressure atmospheric and you, we know atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude means if we go to the hill so if we uh, uh, go top of the hill the pressure is very less so that's why atm means atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude what is the reason because fewer and fewer molecules have enough kinetic energy to go against against gravity and to get further and further away from the earth resulting in atmospheric pressure that things as we go because as that molecules are fewer their kinetic energy uh, act uh, against gravity so they couldn't give uh, more kinetic energy to the surroundings as a result the pressure atmospheric pressure decreases with altitude for this reason it will be useful to be able to quantify atmospheric pressure now what will be the atmospheric pressure at the earth surface and what will be the atmospheric pressure uh, at the top of the hill so it is very important to quantify atmospheric pressure now one method of measuring atmospheric pressure is by using uh, something called barometer by using barometer we can easily calculate atmospheric pressure now what is the barometer barometer is a glass tube that is closed one end so one end is closed and then filled with liquid like mercury so uh, that that is a glass tube one in one end is closed and it is filled with mercury like fluid and uh, that fluid must be non volatile so that uh, so that uh, fluid can't evaporate it doesn't evaporate and but uh, it, it will remain a liquid now the tube is then inverted uh, and placed into container that contain liquid suppose if it is a uh, the mercury suppose mercury is in the tube so and uh, mercury should be in the container and tube is then inverted and placed into the container of the liquid now what will happen the atmospheric pressure is acting on the fluid okay so means fluid molecule Uh, act some means give some kinetic energy to, to the that liquid molecule what will happen so the atmospheric ag, ag, atmosphere exert pressure on the liquid when the particle from the atmosphere collide with the particle uh, in the liquid now some liquid will just go down because of the gravity but as, as that air molecule uh, gives some kinetic energy or exert some pressure because of that liquid will have some rise Uh, so this activity means this activity keeps the liquid in the tube at the particular height okay so here that air is actually acting on the I mean, air is giving some pressure to the fluid because of that uh, some I mean liquid will uh, 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 liquid will stay at a particular height so by observing that height of that column of liquid of that in the tube so we can see how much atmospheric pressure is pushing down on the liquid and in doing so we are measuring the atmospheric pressure means some pressure is uh, acting on that uh, that liquid because of that there is some liquid uh, um, liquid can't uh, go down totally some liquid will give the some height now how much pressure is acting uh, by the uh, that by the air 
so that we can measure from the height of the liquid now how do we calculate so we know that p is equal to nothing but h rho into g h into rho into g now here p atm is nothing but h of hg so now here that mercury is a liquid okay, that is that that is in that glass tube so we can write h hg means that will give the height rise of the mercury height so h hg into rho hg rho is means density density of the liquid so rho hg into g g is acceleration due to gravity now if we calculate what will be the atmospheric pressure now here uh, if we use that mercury in the glass tube so mercury will give the 760 mm and the height so we can put that 760 by 1000 so we can convert that mm to meter and density of the mercury is 13600 kg per meter cube and acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second square now if we calculate so we will get 101396.16 meter uh, meter and then kg per meter cube and meter per second square now if we do that if we if we, if we reorganize so that will be give uh, that newton okay newton per meter square so that will give 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square so uh, 1 atm is nothing but 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal we know newton per meter square is nothing but a pascal so from here uh, if we use mercury glass tube so mercury will give 760 mm from there we can easily calculate atmospheric pressure so atmospheric pressure is nothing but 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal now here is some uh, summary of the barometer barometer is a glass tube closed at one end and another end is open filled with a liquid that is non volatile tube is inverted and placed in that liquid mercury if we use mercury so that will give 760 mm height. so that is the summary of barometer now if we take water as a barometric liquid suppose if we replace uh, mercury with water and whatever procedure we follow if we do that means uh, we have water in the glass tube and then we uh, invertedly place in a container so if uh, if we do that that again as mercury gave 760 mm height here water will give 10.3 mm height now similar way we can calculate what will be the uh, atmospheric pressure if we use water now p atm is nothing but again h p we know p is equal to h rho g so h is here h water into rho of water into g g is acceleration due to gravity now if we use water so water height will be 10 10.33 mm okay, sorry meter 10.33 meter so here 10.33 meter into 1000 kg per meter cube and 9.81 is the acceleration due to gravity now if we if we do the calculation so again we will get 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square uh, so that is 1.013 into 10 to the power 5 pascal okay so in terms of liquid chosen I mean how we choose liquid uh, in the barometer in terms of liquid chosen if we are to use water normal atmospheric pressure can support a column of water over 13.33 meter tall which is not terribly convenient for storing uh, in tank measure uh, tank, tank uh, sorry storing or taking measurement for this reason scientists decide to use a different liquid uh, mercury is much denser than water so mercury barometer will not ha uh, have to be a very tall so that will give only 760 mm hg so that's why in the barometer we always use mercury uh, rather than water because if we use water so that glass tube should be 10.3 meter tall so that is not convenient at all so for that uh, mercury is the good choice as a barometric liquid